Hey guys, welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. So we are starting out by making some Spanish rice. So I'm just doing Gold Parts rice and water. And you want to make sure that you rinse your rice before you put it in the Instant Pot. I love doing the Instant Pot method. It is super easy. Um, you just want to make sure and season your rice. So I always use like a bouillon. Um, this time I'm actually using tomato chicken bouillon. And then I'm going to add some butter as well. Okay, we're going to move over to the instant pot so you're just going to want to cook this on manual pressure for about five minutes and then once it beeps when it's done with the five minutes you want to natural release it for five minutes and then whenever the five minutes is up go ahead and let the rest out and then you can um fluff it with your fork and it should be good to go i'm also going to make some black beans i'm making some uh, taco salad so i wanted to have some black beans these are the seasoned i think that they taste so much better and i'm also going to add some of this taco seasoning this is the hidden valley ranchero taco night and we really really like it I'm gonna go ahead and cook up a pound of ground beef. So I'm just seasoning with some salt. And then whenever it is cooked through, I will add my taco seasoning to it and just let it simmer for about 10 minutes until all the flavors melt together. I also had this jar of um, salsa, so I went ahead and added that as well. It's a little bit too spicy to just eat on its own, so I wanted to put it in the taco meat, and it turned out really good. It was a really good addition. Um, I also get a lot of questions about my electric skillet and why I like to use it, but the main reason I use it is because it has a bigger surface area, so whenever I'm cooking ground beef, I like to use it for that. So here's what my taco, what my taco salad looks like. It was delicious. Next, we are making some um, teriyaki chicken. So I have just marinated my chicken in some teriyaki sauce, and I'm gonna go ahead and fry this in a skillet with some butter, and you just wanna cook it until it reaches 165 degrees. With this, I'm also going to make some fried rice. You guys have watched me make this a million times. It's definitely become one of our favorite things. So I'm starting out by heating up some sesame oil in the bottom of my skillet. I'm going to add some mixed vegetables. This is totally optional, but we do like it. Um, I'm just going to heat those through until they are not frozen anymore. And then I'm going to add some eggs, scramble those together, season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I will add my rice that I cooked a little bit before. You do want to cook with cold rice. Um, it helps the rice from not getting mushy so that is definitely an important step so i just cook this um, a little bit before and put it in the fridge until i was ready to make dinner
To my rice, I'm also going to add some um, soy sauce. I always use the low sodium just because it's less salty, low sodium. Um, and you just want to add it to your taste. I always start out with like two tablespoons, but I made it so many times that I could just eyeball it now. But you definitely want to just season it to your taste. So now that I've let my chicken rest for a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it up to have with our plates. Um, and I also had some yum yum sauce that I wanted to move to another container just so it's easier to like put on the rice. Um, the container that it comes in, it has a really big like wide mouth, so it's not easy to pour. So I just wanted to add it to one of these squeeze bottles and um, have it just like that. So here's what it looks like all plated up. I did uh, make some pot stickers in the air fryer as well. And this del dinner was so delicious. Definitely one of our favorites. Next, I'm making some melt in your mouth chicken. I have never made this before. And I will tell you right off the bat, it was really, really good. So I've got four thin sliced chicken breasts here. I'm just adding it to the bottom of a casserole dish. I'm going to season my chicken breasts really well with some salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper on both sides and then you're going to want to add some mayonnaise and parmesan cheese to the top so the measurements i didn't really follow the measurements i kind of just did what i thought i wanted to um and i just put mayonnaise on top and then i just put some pars or uh, parmesan cheese on the top of that and just kind of spread it all around the chicken breast I had some croutons in the pantry that I just needed to get used up. We're not big fans of croutons like on our salads and stuff. Um, I actually bought them for a get together and then they didn't get eaten. So they've kind of just been sitting in my pantry for a while. So I wanted to get them used up and I thought that if I put them on top of this, it would be good. And it was good. Um, it just was a little bit mushy. So just kind of be aware of that if you're going to use this method. But anyway, I think it would be really good without the croutons as well. The chicken ended up being super juicy and it was cooked perfectly. Um, I also made some mac and cheese on the side with some steamed broccoli, which you guys have seen me make my homemade mac and cheese a million times. So um, if you go back to my Thanksgiving cook with me, I have a very in detailed uh, recipe over there. So just make sure and check that out if you want to know how to make my homemade mac and cheese. But I think that's going to be it for this week's what's for dinner. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Other than that, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.